guys, I'm Rob Bass and this is New York Rediscovered and today I'm standing right in front of the Village Voice located off of East 6th Street here in the East Village. Uh, when I think of the East Village, I think of music, iconic albums, and you know what? I was like, why can't we do today, grab a couple of famous album covers that were filmed here in the East Village and go to those locations? So today, on New York Rediscovered, go check out really cool, iconic album covers photographed here in East Village. God knows what we're going to find when we get there. So let's go check it out. Come on. So, our first location is right here between 3rd and 2nd Avenue on 11th Street here in the East Village. It's the iconic fog hat cover where he's fishing in a manhole. Here's the manhole cover. They left it up to take the photos. Now, back in the early 70s, it's probably easy to fish in the manhole, but uh, it's cool to see how things don't change. Just from around the corner from the fog hat cover is an even more iconic location, and we're going to go there right now. All right, so our second location here is the album cover from Led Zeppelin, Physical Graffiti. This is the two buildings that they use for this album cover, and then the uh, windows were like the letters Physical Graffiti all the way down. The uh, little point I want to point out is actually they cut out the fourth floor on the album cover because album covers are squared, and this is actually a taller building. So they kind of took out the fourth floor and kind of photoshopped back in the 70s, which was not photoshopped. <laughs> is this and um that's it most iconic new york city cover i can think of that's it so we're on our way to our last location and that is on st mark's when you think of st mark's this is the same Mark's we're talking about it's called gem spa the world famous gem spa known for supposedly creating the first egg cream uh and a little history of a band that you guys may not know so well, New York Dolls. Gem Spa across the way. Now, you have to use a little more imagination on this because it's changed. That corner didn't have that warning back in the day when they had the album It didn't have it like that. It was a little more against the building and the, it would even worry I'm cheating a little because it's not even the front album cover of the New York Dolls, it's actually the back album cover, which is more iconic. The front album cover actually was from the inside. There's a little bit of a white wall, but this was when they were standing right in the corner. See the A-Cream logo is right there? They were standing right under there. And that's, uh, that's where the New York Dolls famous uh, cover came from. <laughs> you know what, while we're here, I might as well try to get the New York's best A-Cream. Let's get inside. Yeah, it's pretty good. I make better, but it's pretty good. And not for $4. The world famous Javon, well, not really world famous, but the iconic location here on St. Mark's. This used to be the club Coney Island High, which was co-owned by a little guy you might have heard of called Joey Ramone. So, it's weird because we're doing a whole thing about album covers, yet nothing with the Ramones. It's an iconic New York band, but no... New York covers on street level. But that was his club, and it was an awesome club back in the day. Uh, he used to actually perform there on his birthday every year, and it was really cool. But one more thing about Joe Ramon is kind of a little bit further down, we're gonna hit it up now. So come on, let's go. 